Hello, hello, hello. How's it going up for all you guys out there? It's been a while since I've uh, made a video. Sorry I've been away for so long. Uh, May has been a really busy month for me. And um, I apologize about that. I plan on getting back into these tutorials probably around June sometime. But I found a few, you know, spare minutes. And I want to try and throw out a tutorial here and there while I have the time. We're going to do one now. I might do another Final Cut Pro tutorial after this one. And maybe a motion tutorial. But we'll worry about those when we get to them. Right now, let's worry about these tutorials. Or this one actually right here in front of us. Okay? So, as you can see here, I got some clips over here. And as you can see, some audio and all that good stuff. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to edit our video to the music. Everybody likes to edit their videos to, to the beat. And there's several ways of doing it. And from little shortcuts that you can you can learn and pick up to doing it the uh, laborious and brute force method which is going in and adding markers for where you want your beats and then markers where you want your on your video and then edit them together so let me give you a brief demonstration of that and in order the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna use slug and if you've never used the slug in Final Cut Pro before all it is is blank it's just uh, it's just black and a lot of people use it to roll a few seconds of black at the end or the beginning of a film. And I can, I can come over here and you can see I can select and come down to slug. And as you can tell, it is just black. That's just all it is. That's it. And if I click and drag and bring it down here to my timeline, you can see it comes in and it's just blank nothingness. And it also brings in blank audio. You can select that and get rid of it if you want. Now let's go ahead and make this a little bit longer by grabbing the end of it and dragging it out okay it don't have to be anything there's no magic number because we're not going to use it all I just want to make sure I have enough okay so now like I said I've got some audio already so I'm gonna take my audio and I'm gonna bring it down here and place it into my audio well here let's go ahead and render that and let's lock our audio now let me play it so you guys can hear it's just music from soundtrack pro Boom, right there's where we're going to want our first edit to come in, okay? So we could do this the laborious way. We got a baseball clip here. Let's say we want that beat to hit right when he strikes the ball. I'll find the frame that I want, which will be right there. Okay? And I'm going to hit a, I'm going to hit the M key. As you can see, that puts a marker right there. Okay, so now I'm going to come down here in my timeline and find where I want where that beat is. Right there. So I'm going to hit the M key. So I'm going to find that beat and hit the M key. It would help if we unlocked our um, audio before we laid a marker down, wouldn't it? Okay, so now you can see we got a marker right there. So now all I got to do is bring this clip down and line those markers up like that. If I render it. You can see he hits the ball right on that little beat of the music there if you watch over here. Okay, and it works great. It really does. But it's kind of laborious. You know, it's kind of manual. It's going to take a while to go through all your clips and mark them and edit them down to the right size and length and make sure all the timing's right. You know, it can be done. But, you know, let's go ahead and delete that marker there. And let's go ahead and remove that clip. We don't want to use that. So, uh, da, 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 da. I want to get rid of that and just start completely from scratch. So now we have our audio in here. I'll go ahead and render that out real fast. And we have our slug. And we can make our slug about the length of our audio. It don't matter. Okay? So now we're not going to use this baseball clip. This comes from Video Copilot, a great, great website for After Effects work and free footage to use to play with and experiment with and learn. Video Copilot's where this comes from. But we're not going to use this. We're just going to use some still photos to demonstrate a point. Um, we, I can make a video going over uh, editing music to video and um, we can go over that. That's just a matter of replacing. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that later. So let's go ahead and load up a picture. That looks good to me. Okay, so now, before we go anywhere else, we need to modify our keyboard, okay? So if you go up to the top and say Modify, or I'm sorry, go to Tools, and you go down to 
keyboard layout customize okay you'll get this little keyboard layout go over here and hit your unlock key so you can unlock it and do some modifications come over to your search field and start tap typing add which is a d d edit and you'll see there's an add edit right here and there's a, com there's a keyboard shortcut and what we're going to do is we're going to take this add edit and we're going to drag it down here to the forward slash key right beside the shift key so take it and drag it down there like that and drop it on there and now that key is mapped to our add as an add edit command if you'll notice there's nothing mapped to that key and you can map anything you want to it and I've found this is a great key for this command after you've mapped or dragged and dropped your add edit command onto your forward slash button go ahead and lock your keyboard back and close it down now that's the key the forward slash beside our shift key there on the right that's the key we're going to use to lay down our markers now as we go through here on the beats we want to edit we're going to hit that key we just mapped and it's not going to look like it's doing anything not while it's playing but after you stop it's going to throw all the edits in that you marked by hitting the key as the playhead was playing now I'm going to go through and I'm going to demonstrate this so as you can see I've laid down my slug I've got my music so what we're going to do is I'm going to go through and listen to it and hit this key we just mapped every time there's a beat that I want to edit on okay so I'm going to start here and just bear with me and we'll get through this real quick and here I go one two three there there And boom, when I hit the space bar and pause, you can see all those little markers that was laid across the top. Boom, is thrown down as edit points. Okay? Pretty cool, huh? So now we have an edit point in our slug on every single beat that we wanted. So now let's go back to this here. I want to use this picture. So what I'm going to do is select my clip. And let's see here. It looks like we ain't got enough content for our edit. So what we want to do is... Yeah, we need to clear our in and out points. So let's go ahead and put our playhead here. As you can see, it's at the beginning of our the clip. I want to take my clip and I can drag it over to the replace, or I can just hit the replace button down here. Boom, and you can see that throws that in there. Okay, on our next beat, let's just load up another picture. We'll use this picture. Let's park it on our next edit point. Hit the replace button, and boom, it automatically throws it in to the length of that pre-made slug there okay that's just replacing that clip that slug clip with what we have here now this could be moving video okay you could mark your in and out points where you want the beats to hit and take it and replace it using the same command and it will throw video in there let's go ahead and put another one in we'll use that one let's we'll make sure we clear our in and out points because last time it said we didn't have a, a insufficient data which means between the in and out point was just a few seconds and it wasn't enough to fill in this whole space here so we had to clear our in and out points so our picture could be longer so let's go to our next one hit replace it throws it in there as you can see let's go on to our next edit by hitting the down arrow and we'll just hit the blue key to replace it hit the down arrow pick your next picture if there's in and out points, make sure you clear the in and out points. Replace. Go to the next edit with the down arrow. Clear your in and out points if there is any. Replace edit. And we will go on and continue like this. Let's go ahead and fill the rest of these in. As you can see, it's a fairly, really simple process, especially if you don't have any in and out points already preset. And I think that's probably going to do enough to demonstrate how this is going to work. As you can see, as I hit the replace button, all these little slug edits are being replaced 
with Watts and the viewer. Now if I add one more to the end, as you can see, this down here is longer, but that don't matter. We'll clear our in and out points, and we'll put the replace, and it fills in the whole clip, as you can see. Now let's go back here and play this so you can see that it does. The edits have been edited on the beat. As you can see, perfectly edited to the beat. And as you can see, it works flawlessly. So that is how you edit things to the beat. It could be video, it could be pictures. Now what you need to keep in mind is that insufficient content for edit command that come up on us there. It's kind of a good thing it did. <clears throat> Excuse me, because that's going to be a problem for some of you guys. <clears throat> because the slug, as you can see the slug link here, let's just say between these two edits is 10 seconds. Okay? And the video clip you want to replace that slug with is just 5 seconds. It's going to tell you there's insufficient content for edit because there's only 5 seconds of video and 10 seconds of slug that needs to be replaced. Okay? So if you're going to replace 10 seconds of slug, you're going to need to replace it with 10 seconds of video. And if you don't have 10 seconds of video, it's going to tell you there's insufficient content as, as, uh, as far as I can gather. Um, so when you're working with video, you have to be a little bit more weary of what you're doing because it's a lot easier to mistime things. But if you follow this method and, and watch what you're doing real closely and set your in and out points on your video, okay, to what to, to be about the same length as your slug, then you should be okay. Go through and polish up on editing uh, still photos like this to the beat and then move on to um, music. I mean, not music, but movies. I really didn't have a whole lot of video that I could use to demonstrate that in this tutorial, so I'm hoping that you all can take this technique and apply it to video yourself and fool around and get and mess with it and figure it out because they're really uh, between the two there's not that much difference if you can do one you can do the other so this was a I know it's not very clear not very plain tutorial on how to edit music to the beat in Final Cut Pro thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in our next tutorial